Hey, you want to sing to the camera? Yeah. Sing. Sing. I sing. Sing. Sing the song. Just sing when the camera's on. Wow. Oh, wow. What else do you have to say? There's a low, low tone. Wow. Where are we going? Get your finger on your nose. Get your finger on your nose. You goofball. Eat it. Don't eat it. That's gross. Rocky's being a good boy. Just sleeping. Learning how to travel. We're just on the road. In Arizona. Oh. Okay, you want to sing again? Okay, sing. Keep going. Not even three. QRS. currently on our first morning, I should say, of our trip through Arizona. We've never been to Arizona. We've only camped through California. We camped at Earp, which is uh, across the river from Parker, Arizona, out at the uh, Colorado River, but we never actually came into Arizona. So we came in pretty late last night, so I didn't make a video last night. We came from Southern California uh, took the 10 all the way out past Palm Springs, um, past Blythe, and then came into Arizona. Our goal, my goal was to get to Saddle Mountain BLM land, which we did. It's right back there. Sun's shining, morning, so it's bright. But yeah, it took us seven hours to get out here because we have a toddler, we have a puppy, we're pulling our rig, so normally we always t say, whatever the maps tells us it's gonna take, it'll be time and a half. And it's about accurate pretty pretty much most of the time. But we came out here, as you can see it's a dirt road. Here, let me flip it around. It's just a small dirt road. Um, it's easy, you can see there's a bunch of other rigs out here and everyone's spread out pretty well. So, I mean, we have our generator running, no one can hear us. And then over out in the distance right there, I don't know, you can see the big rigs, that's Interstate 10. Out this way over here is Phoenix, and we're about, I think, 60 miles or 30 miles from Phoenix. Um, but this was the perfect stop, right on, right off the freeway. Nice, beautiful area. Also, when we set up, we were setting up at uh, sunset last night. We got everything set up, and then we were testing everything, and our water pump wasn't working. It just gave us nothing. So Scott had to climb underneath and mess around with it and he eventually did something and made it work. So that was a little bit scary. We thought we might be heading into town in Phoenix to try to find out what the problem was, but we're all good now. Our goal is to head into more towards Phoenix, um, actually Lake Pleasant area today. Uh, I'd like to try to get a couple spots at Lake Pleasant Regional Park. And then from there, cruise around, probably drive up to Sedona, go to Payson, go to Pine, eventually head up to Flagstaff. But today is Saturday and they're expecting snow Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I'm looking at possibly doing like Pleasant a couple nights, then head up to Flagstaff for a couple nights and then probably head out of the high elevation and then yeah so head back into California head home 
but wanted to do a quick update. Here we are. First, second day of our trip. First day was all driving. So we'll keep you updated where we're at. Go, Scotty, go! Go, Scotty, go! Where's Rocky? Go get him! Go get him, little nugget butt! I know. Someone's in between sizes. Two T's too small, but three T's a little baggy. Get him, Rocky! Get him, Rocky! Going for a little rock walk over here. A saddle mountain. Checking out the area. Also, this place is pretty cool because they have really awesome looking crystal rocks. You just gotta look, pay attention. And you'll be able to find some cool things. So here's a sunset point rest area. We decided to not go to Lake Pleasant, and we're continuing up the 17 to go to Camp Verde to get a little bit more up into the mountains. So this is a gorgeous spot on the top of a, a grade up here on the 17. Nice little break. Need to get out and have a little rocky go potty. There's a little bulldog right there. Pretty cool. Back on the road. Here we are, second night. We have no idea where we're at. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we don't. Where she made it. She's on some weird spot. Don't blame me. Blame we me. left Saddle Mountain no, and started me. heading towards. We Rocky. were gonna go to Lake Pleasant, but then we realized when we got there, there was no hookup spots, so and we kind of needed a hookup spot. And it was pretty far away from our road so highway 17 we wanted to be on because we wanted to explore areas up highway 17 and i'm glad we didn't stop at lake pleasant because we drove another couple hours up highway 17 to get here we're in camp verde arizona so we're kind of central we're kind of central from um payson and pine is a couple hours to the east of us Sedona is only 30 minutes to the west north of us and Flagstaff is about another hour to the north of us. So we're gonna hang out here two nights. We have full hookup so we have all the drains and water and electric hookup. We have to worry about boondocking and then tomorrow we will get up and go cruise over east to go check out Payson and Pine. And I think we're done for the next. We went out and drove around Camp Verde, but there's really not much around here. So, all right, we'll check back in later. Hi, good morning. It is the second morning and we are in Camp Verde. Last night was cold. Well, it was nice in the rig, but it got down. I woke up and it was 34 degrees. So, Probably hit 30. Probably hit 30. And we are on the road. And we are heading east to go check out Pine and Payson, Arizona. As you can see, we have Scotty back here, all set up, ready for the car ride. Rocky set up with his cookies and his little ball. And we're off. It is 
about 90 miles north of Phoenix, about 5,000 feet in elevation. We've already passed, uh, there's a Home Depot. We saw there's a Walmart in here, grocery stores. It's almost kind of reminds us of uh, Big Bear, Big Bear, California. So it's kind of cute little town. They have these roundabouts, which we don't like very much, but we learn. So we're cruising through, checking out the little area, little mountain town in Arizona. We stopped here at this cute little lake. We're in Payson, Arizona still. People are fishing out there, kids are playing. We talked to a local guy here. Population's 15,000. Doesn't get too much snow. It's almost like Big Bear, California. He says probably good three storms a year. High in the summer is probably 90, mid 90s. Lows can get in the 20s. It's a cute little town. I like it. All right, back on the road. Keep exploring. strawberries, pine, and then we went to Payson, and then we cruised around Payson, got a bite to eat, looked at a different um, couple housing areas out there, um, went to this little lake and had lunch and talked to a really nice gentleman who told us a lot about the area. It was cool. We enjoyed it. It was a nice little town, kind of like um, Big Bear, who reminded us, Big Bear, California. So then we came back and chilled, drove over to Cottonwood a little bit, and then hung out, cooked dinner, and that was it. Now we're up and we're out on to the next adventure. It froze last night, but in the 30s, I don't know if you can see the rig out there. But we've got the rig hooked up. We've got the crazy kids back here, all ready, set to go. On to the next 